So in this example, um, what we have is we have two congruent triangles. Uh, they, so they said that our triangle is M J H is, congru is congruent. In which way, I, I don't know if I wrote this thing correctly. MJH is congruent to PQJ. It's so it's what? N oh, is it? So NJH is congruent to, no, that's not right. NJ, oh. N, MHJ, anyways. OK. It's MHJ. So MHJ is congruent to PQJ. OK, very good. So ladies and gentlemen, one thing I look at, um, when I'm looking at this problem, they want us to evaluate our, sign, our value for y. Now, one thing, Alexandra, that we notice um, is here I have two angles that have the variable y with it. And then I also have this side length that has, has my variable y. Now, we say they're congruent. Um, but for me to be able to kind of solve this, I, I need to think of like what information can I figure out? Well. If I had a side length over here, I could say that these two sides are congruent, or I'm sorry, these two sides are the congruent to each other, and then I could solve for y. But I don't have any other side length except for a side length over 8.1, and that's not really going to help me out. So the other thing I look at, well, how about if I use the, the sum of all the angles in a triangle? If I can figure out the sum of all the angles in a triangle, then, um, or if, if I can find, I know all the sum of all the angles in a triangle, which is 180, if I can set up an equation, I can solve for y. So as of right now, I have 14y minus 8 plus 13y plus the measure of angle j is equal to 180 degrees. Would you guys agree with that statement? AJ, did you get it? Would you guys agree with that statement? This angle plus this angle plus that angle equals 180, right? Now, what's nice is when you say, all right, well, now I have two variables. I have y and I have the measure of j. But what I notice is I have two lines that intersect that create an angle or two angles that do not share a side but share a vertex. And we call those vertical angles. So therefore, vertical angles, if you guys remember, are equal in measure. They're congruent. So now I can say 14y minus 8 plus 13y plus 53 equals 180. So now I can just combine like terms and solve. So in this case, I have 14y plus 13y is going to be 27y. Negative uh, 8 plus 53 is going to be 45. Positive 45. 180, subtract 45. So I have 27y equals 135. All right. Um, and then I got to do 135 divided by 27. So 27, that would be 54, which is 100. And, uh, so 27 times 2 is 54, times 4 is 108. And, um, and then so, so that's 2, 4. And then if I do it 5 times, that's going to give me 135. So y equals 5. Now, the last thing is, um, did ask just to solve for y or find all the measurements? Find the value of variable that yields the congruent triangles. OK, so it just asked to find the measure of y. So that would be it. If they said to find the measure of the side length or the angles, then you just plug in 5 in for your variable to sign each measurement. All right? Huh? We just need to figure out what y was. Yeah. But just in case, they might ask you, you know, on another problem to say, hey, what is the measure of each of those angles? Then you have to plug in 5 into the variable. OK? Angel, I don't see you 